Here's another one that's quite different. This obviously isn't a, a, a toy per se. It's a comic book and some trading cards and a, a visor, it looks like. But I thought today would be a fitting day to free this collection of items from its plastic prison because last night the University of Kentucky Wildcats uh, lost in the Elite Eight to the UNC Tar Heels. So I live in Kentucky. I'm a big Kentucky fan, as, as are many people in this in our great commonwealth. And actually, I found this in the, the home of Kentucky Wildcats at Lexington, Kentucky, at the Peddler's Mart down there. And I've never seen it before. I'm a comic collector, and I like collecting kind of weird, odd things. So I was pretty stoked to find this. and pretty stoked to find it for, for five bucks. So I am going to open it. And maybe I don't be used to paying a little bit of, of the loss. It was a good game. They lost by a couple points. So here we have a, a U of K visor, which is pretty... I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to wear this every day. I think it looks pretty... I can't see myself, obviously, but I'm sure I look pretty, pretty amazing. So, so there's the U of K visor. You have some University of Kentucky trading cards. And I seem to remember this set. So we have the 57-58 team. Is that, did they allow African Americans on that team? Or is that the one that lost to U, what is now UTEP? Yeah, I think that might be the... Oh, no, they won. That's the 57-58 the championship team. But pretty interesting if you read the history, if you're in the, in the basketball, even just kind of... It's just an interesting aspect of civil rights history that um, Adolph Rupp did not allow African Americans on his team, and they lost. Kentucky lost in the championship to Texas Western, which is now known as UTEP, and they were an all African American team. Larry Stanford, I don't know who that is. Johnny Cox, I don't know who that is. Cliff Berger. So yeah, there was a whole set of these. I remember. Remember these. You can see it's produced by the Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, which is actually, I believe, who created this here comic book, Super Cat, created by Cindy Perkins Fryer, the Premier Collector's Edition. It says that on there twice, so you know it's a Premier Collector's Edition. So nice they wrote it twice. So let's see, there's Super Cat, he's wearing some kind of like a mix between a Karate Kid robe and some spandex. He's got a, a crotch rocket with his face on the front. Um, Collegiate Collection Comics. But yes, yeah, Premier Collector's Edition. Premier Collector's Edition. I don't even know what, like, what is that? I don't know. Let's get our name on there twice. So this is from March 1989. Oh, six. Let's see, Coke, March Madness, you can win that basketball. Cool, cool. A uh, new breed of cat, written by Kev Kevlin Goodner, created by Cindy Perkins Fryer. It's a lot of, it's kind of all smashed in there. I don't know who is that. I don't know, some evil bird. Is it supposed to be the... And there's, there's the wild cat, super cat. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. The perspective on that. Uh, is that a telescope? Microscope. Cats drink some water. This, this is a uh, pretty interesting kind of some middle school level drawings there. You gotta have a horse because it's Kentucky. That makes sense. You gotta have some uh, a brother and sister making out in the, a pickup truck because it's Kentucky, so that makes sense. That I, you know, I the, the horses, basketball, bourbon, tobacco, uh, poor education, poor health coverage, poverty, Mountain Dew, all that I, I can I can stand behind and test. That is a those are. 
um, some of the, the aspects of our state. But this spandex karate suit thing, I'm not going to, that's tapered down there at the feet. I'm not going to, uh, that, that's where my suspension of disbelief ends right there. You know, that's, that is not something that I'm going to, to own. So let's see, you get a nine issue subscription to the UK comic book. You can get a 27 issue subscription. I don't think there was more than one. So I think they're being very ambitious about this. I want to look this up. There are. I would like to get them. Need some some trading cards there. I, I remember actually having the the UNC ones because they had a Michael Jordan one in there because I was a big Michael Jordan collector. There's a Hardy's coupon. Only if Hardy still exists. Buffy's bunch, the cheer cats. There's some cheerleaders. Oh, so we got some different artists there. Uh, there's some dude with uh. What is that on his head? That is that is bizarre. Yeah, this definitely looks like a middle school art project. I mean, maybe it was. Maybe it was a bunch of 8th graders. I certainly hope so. This is a interesting, interesting read. So, yeah, so just say no to drugs. There's, so, okay, I'm going to... Sorry, I have to collect myself a little bit here. Okay, so this is the old one, the older uh, UK Kentucky Wildcats logo, and there's a lot of controversy around this because of that tongue. So people say that it looks like a penis, a very small penis, mind you, and some some testicles. Um, and there is controversy surrounding, you know, did the person do that on purpose because they that person felt as if he or she was not paid enough or just whatever blah 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 um but i don't know if the logo appears anywhere else in here it doesn't look like it um let's see on these trading cards you can kind of see it on the trading cards those are those are pretty small um but this was pretty i mean these are this is on shirts on posters i've seen it on a dartboard i've seen you know this was this was all over and then i guess people said stuff so they changed it and it's it was the same the wildcat on the UK, but the tongue was different. So uh, I don't know if it's myth or somebody's seen something they're not supposed to, but you know, it's one of those things that once it was pointed out to you, it, it cannot be unseen. And I remember a friend of mine uh, had a, a, a dartboard, I believe it was, with this logo on it, and me and another friend were over there, and we were just kind of jamming, just trying to, you know, playing playing music or whatever guitar and drums and all that and we just kept cracking up because we kept seeing the penis tongue logo on his his uk dartboard so um so yeah if you get to find any like shirts or clothing with that that logo on it there um there's something that that are worth hanging on to so anywho this was super cat issue one by collegiate collection comics you had some trading cards you had the sweet visor there was the penis tongue logo which was not something i was expecting a nice little surprise there and that's why you never know what you're going to find out there at, when you're thrift shopping you never know what you're going to find on the vintage toy freedom youtube channel because i'm always looking for cool and different things you get a little kind of history and civic or civil rights history lesson some sports history some uh, logo history a little little bit more information on kentucky so thanks for watching and go cats maybe next year